Aloha! Oh, you guys nailed it right off the bat. We don't need to Perfect. do multiple yes. things. Perfect. All right, we done got and done. It. Top of the morning, friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? Leave us a comment down below. Let us know how you're doing so we can read about it and talk about it. We'd love to know. That lovely couple there filled with aloha are Ed and Emily of Snake Discovery. They invited us out to their facility and soon to be open to the public reptile zoo for an enclosure build off with nine other amazing reptile YouTube content creators. And that's exactly what we're here for. I'd also like to give a quick shout out to all the amazing sponsors that supplied all of the building materials that we would be using to do these builds for Emily and Ed. I've got to say my trip there was interesting as well as the trip back. A girl on the airplane passed out on my feet, had to get the doctor, had to give her oxygen. And on the way back, we had to kick somebody off the plane for uh, trying to fight with one of the flight attendants. So that's a story for another time. Why don't we just skip all of that and jump right to the moment that Dave and Clint picked me up from the airport. I hope I never have to fly out of LAX again. Oh, bad. Hang on. I'm hanging on. Hanging Hang on. on for every dear life. Don't wait. No. Nope. Oh, oh they gonna close. Get... Oh, good oh, lord. See, Dave. this is what I'm talking about. That would have taken us right there. I I'm just kidding. Dave, I got a question for you. Uh, what do you know? Well, yeah, what do you answer. know about my secret weapon? You know I brought a secret weapon? I've been in hotels with you before, and your secret weapon is pretty volatile sometimes. Clint, do you have a secret weapon? I do now. Yeah. And it is bodacious. Can you tell us anything about said secret weapon? It's it just the cool. coolest thing that's ever existed. Oh, you know what? I had one other question for you, Clint. I, what do you think uh, your chances are in this thing being is how everybody, including Emily, now knows how extremely uh, perturbed you are with her? Oh, I'm furious. So I think I think my chances are, are much better because I think a lot of people do know that it's all Emily's fault. Dave, what do you think your chances of winning this thing are? What thing? The thing that we're here for. You guys didn't come to see me? Wait a minute. You guys are here for something. Fine. Oh, so you're not going to put this in? Maybe. All right. Because I want to tell you what my chances are. <laughs> Ten hundred percent. Is that even a thing? I don't know if you want to think out that action. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, this is a it's a brilliant idea, what you guys are doing. I mean, and it's also very awesome and kind for you guys to invite us here. I mean, you guys have a huge platform to like showcase kind of us on your platform. And then we get to participate in a fun event, build some cool things and I mean, help out bunch of people with it. It's awesome. I'm so glad Aww. you got invited us. Like, seriously. Yeah. Glad you all could come. Yeah. We're just really excited to see what everybody comes up with for their builds. What are the shenanigans, Hartle? The, okay, so the reality of the fact is this. There are far more talented um, naturalistic cage builders here than me. So yeah. my plan, my shenanigans, is just to be different. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. That's why they have their names. That might be the most cameras I've ever seen filming in one room at the same time. <laughs> what are you guys going to do today, Diane? Do I have to pull the same card? I'm not going to tell you. It's a secret. Or maybe it's because I haven't decided. <laughs> but do you, do you have a secret weapon? Um, no. I'm just a humble guy who loves rap sauce. is going to go with the fuck. I don't believe you. <laughs> you, you you're talking sauce. <laughs> What's up? Another cameraman here. One of many. I've got a cameraman. He's this guy right here. He's a good guy. <laughs> yeah, he helps me out with things from time to time. Can I say something to you guys on camera? You guys remind me of my mom and me. Yeah, yeah. We hang out. Awesome. Honestly, That's we're, awesome. We're hanging out dinner last night. These guys, you guys, your vibe is just like, like my mom and me hanging out. That's right? awesome. It's nice. been a fun trip. So yeah, yeah. definitely. First, yeah. first road trip, just the two of us. I think. So. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's been pretty cool. Uh -huh. I honestly think I think you're gonna win, dude. Honestly. Well, thank you. I fingers crossed. That would be awesome. This is Aurora. This Hi. this yeah, yeah. may or may not be my secret <laughs> weapon to the. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. I might have another secret weapon in the bag somewhere over there. It might be Aurora. Aurora helped me out with the vote today. She got her own channel, which she's going to start uploading on again regularly. Starting to. Starting to finally. Starting soon, finally. And you can check her out there. I'll put a link in the description for the channel. Aurora's going to help me with my cage build today. And probably be the reason that we even come close to winning it. 
Cross your fingers. All right. Well, everybody's gone except for Laura, who can al be allowed to know <laughs> about the secret surprise, secret weapon that's actually hiding right here in my pants. Why was it so zoomed in? Hiding in my pants is the secret <laughs> weapon. I can't, I'm not going to show it to you guys yet, but the secret weapon is down there. And uh, I, I'll, you know what? I'll reveal it once we actually start building the cage. We still have to do a trivia or some kind of scavenger hunt. We're going to break into two teams and we're going to do some kind of puzzle or something team building event where two of us will, the two teams will compete to see who gets the best pick of all of the different supplies that are sitting back over there. I will reveal my top secret weapon. Whoever wins this challenge will get you an advantage in the build off, essentially, where if you win, you'll get first dibs on the best supplies to use in your build. So could we have the 10 contestants line up behind these tables? Okay, first question. What are the That was Dave. Ah, oh, so that means- Hang on, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta oh, blow I my nose. Hang on. <laughs> so we are currently at green team two, black team three. If you bred two snakes that were double het for recessive traits, what are the odds? One in 16. Thank you. Oh my gosh, just name uh, yeah. five Floridian. Okay. I like all of them? So that's five <laughs> points for Team Black, so you win. Woo. Nice job. Yeah. 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 Awesome. All right. Sure go. go. <laughs> all right, it says green team is back. Uh, when a reptile can't be kept, there's only one option. Check out our visions that promote reptile adoption. Put that in, put it in. Hold, Hold together. Just so done. Easy. We're done. 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 <laughs> so we were joking about you checking me away from this piece, but this is actually what I would have chose. This is like the only piece that I possibly could have used for what I'm planning to do, and you took it. So instead, I just grabbed a bag of dirt because it's hopeless now. Thanks, Brian. You're welcome. Three, two, one, go. You will not pass. No, 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 but it's not quite the top secretest of weapons yet. There's still one top secret weapon to be revealed yet, besides this little magical mushroom that's gonna go in the middle of what I'm calling, we're calling, Magic Mushroom Morelia Manor. leaves for the bottom. All right, I know how to do this. The other team got uh, cut enclosures that were already sealed. Apparently the black team doesn't, doesn't get that, so we're just gonna seal it ourselves. Professional work! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Do you guys not have a tripod? What? I think I remember. I think 
in a move of pure stroke of genius, I think the sweat is starting to uh, make my brain work better. I use my camera tripod to hold these cork barks to the sides while they silicone and dry. Tripod? Who'd have thought? Uh, Hunter, there's a lot of noise coming from this side. What's going on yeah. over here? So we're carving a couple of sheets of expanded foam just to make it look kind of like a natural rock and then hopefully have some details and then I'll paint it with a coat of, or a couple coats of dry lock and just make it look similar to a rock or at least as close as we can get it in six hours. I've never actually used it before. So. <laughs> I'm a little outside of my comfort zone with using this uh, spray foam stuff for the back. I've never done it. Aurora's never done it. Uh, but I think we're going to just try and go for it anyway so we can get our tree stuck to the back and then other things stuck to the back. And just kind of cross our fingers and hope it comes out okay. Failure to follow all directions can result in injury or death. Hand responsibly and plan, prepare, and practice. We're just at a moment where we're waiting for this thing to cure. Well, while we're waiting for our thing to cure over here, I figure we might as well go around and check out how other people are doing with their enclosures. What do you think about that? Let's do that. I don't know how this came together and the amount of time we had. I experienced some intense technical difficulties with the spray foam. I thought I could cut corners and I swear, I don't know which channel it is, which makes it seem like I'm making this up, but I saw someone put dry substrate, which is probably why it didn't work, onto wet spray foam as a way of like cheating the system of needing silicone. It worked miserably. Unfortunately, uh, Dave followed the same fate because he thought it would work if I was doing it, and it didn't work. Tyler, Maddie, how are you guys doing over here? <laughs> yeah. You think you're done? Yeah, no. Not done. Good. Oh, you're no. doing good. Yep. Done. It's all done now. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like it? Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. I love the uh, foam in between the rocks. Yes. That's a good We're going for a naturalistic <laughs> rock there, so. It looks good. Looks like it's gonna turn out really well. Thank you. Fantastic. Yeah, Hell, how are you guys doing over here? Waiting for things to dry. That's where we're at. I figured I'd come check out everybody else is doing. We're waiting for things to try. Yeah. Yeah. What are you guys going for a certain theme in particular? Fire skink. Fire skink. Very cool. Oh, you look like you're making some nice progress over here, man. Thanks. I'm waiting for this to dry and then I'm gonna carve it and kind of make it look hopefully seamless. Clint? Yes, sir. Mr. Custer. You're looking good in there, buddy. Thank you. Coming together. Yeah, it's looking nice. Damn it, Hartle! <laughs> Jessica, this yeah. is looking fantastic. Thanks, this is what I brought from home. Back up. That was a very smart move. Yeah, I was like, it's going to take too long to build a background. I don't want to put that pressure on myself, so I built a background. And now I'm just like putting it in place and decorating and I'm going to be uh, way done. Like, I don't need whole six hours. And I just brought a mushroom. Yes. So Garrett's strategy is obviously to make as much noise as possible to distract all the other contestants. Yes. To go and look at what Garrett doing now. Ours will be the only video with good audio. Look at that mushroom back there. I'm super happy about that. It was Aurora's idea to jump out of the comfort zone and use that spray foam on the back. So I gotta give you props for making me jump out of my comfort zone. Okay, this is kind of the moment of truth because I, once this mushroom goes in, that's where it's gonna stay. So I'm not really sure. Well, I've got my faux mushroom on that side. And then I think that to apply the rule of thirds to this enclosure that the exact perfect spot to put it is going to be somewhere right around here. Perfect. Nice. Rule of thirds. Now we're gonna carve the foam, and I don't know what I'm doing here, but I'm gonna watch her. She looks like she knows what she's doing. Over and over again. You just don't want it to look bubbly. Oh. Okay, so th here's, the, here's the issue. We need to lay this thing on its back so we can start siliconing up all this spray foam and then covering it in substrate. But the mushroom hasn't quite set yet. So I've braced it up a little piece of foam so we can lay it on its back and st it'll still support the mushroom while we do the other part we need to do. <laughs> Progress is feeling pretty good. <laughs> 
I gotta say, I'm pretty happy. We haven't turned it up yet, but check out the mushroom is coming along. And once we start throwing the substrate in there and turn this thing up and the texture comes out, I think it'll look pretty good. And we get the vines in there, it's like, we're getting there. I don't think we should be surprised at all that Dave is basically having Annie do all of the work and he's just standing there watching. I'm no dummy. I brought the artist with me that is painting the exterior. I'm not trying That's to. That's her signature. Yeah, okay, this is perfect. my signature move. You're doing a great job, Manny. Thanks, bro. Dave is a lucky guy. Appreciate it. I put you guys down while I, we got this rest of this thing done. Our hands are getting super dirty, so I didn't want to just, you know, it's, I didn't want to get the dirt all over my new camera, honestly. So we got it all built up. I think it's done. Let's go take a quick look at everybody else's. Not that everybody else is done yet, but I'm, we'll take a quick look at everybody else's enclosure. No. Come back, check out mine. And believe it or not, I still haven't shown you my actual top secret weapon. So I'll show it to you as soon as we check those out. I've been more giddy than I am right now. Like I, I laughed like a little girl a minute ago and I, I can't bring myself to do it on a camera for some reason. <laughs> but it was, I was super happy about how this came out and I'm also happy about how inspired I am now after coming here to do some of these enclosures at home. Uh, the mushroom thing just came out great. I, I was so happy that when I asked everybody if they wanted mushrooms or not, that nobody wanted mushrooms. So I got to use all the light up mushrooms almost. I mean, a couple other people use them, but I'm, I got like six of the 10 to use in here, which is just like, it just went with the theme and Morelia Mossy Manor is just mushroomy. And uh, meanwhile, Dave Kaufman, who messes up all the time, thinks he can mess me up by doing something like this. Very nice, Dave. Very nice. <laughs> We're all impressed. We're all very, very impressed. Whether or not we actually end up winning like the actual enclosure contest, uh, doesn't matter because this, this has been a win. Aurora, the moss, the inspiration, the pizza. I'm hungry too. <laughs> okay, okay, secret weapon. All right, all ready? Secret weapon. What kind of Morelia enclosure would it be if we didn't have actual Morelia to go in the enclosure? This little baby was produced by my buddy Travis over Living Legless. Coastal Carpet Python. And this is going to come with whoever gets this enclosure. So I might have to bid on this enclosure and get it myself. Super happy about watching this guy go in there right now. He'll grow into it. Thank you guys for having us all again. It was a blast and I'm stoked. And I'm sure you guys are stoked getting all those enclosures built too. But um, what can people expect as far as like when your zoo here is going to be ready for the public? We are planning, and this is actually the first time I've mentioned it in a video before. Yeah. Labor Day weekend is our scheduled grand opening here at Snake Discovery. So we are very busily working at finishing the rest of the enclosures. A lot of them just need some final touches like substrate and lighting or hooking up to timers and then they're ready for the animals. So and we have to clean. 
Yeah, there's the floor is clean. filthy. <laughs> but yeah, Labor Day weekend is what we're planning. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. Thank you guys for tuning in today. I appreciate you following along on the video, and I hope that uh, I didn't disappoint you with my secret weapon <laughs> or multiple secret weapons. And uh, I'm going to put a link down in the description for everybody singles. Everybody singles? Everybody was singles here, so we had some couples too. Mm. Everybody's channel that was here today participating. You can find their link in the description so you can check out the video they made as they were here doing the builds. And you guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you in the next video. Aloha. finally finished his disclosure. I know you didn't think it was going to happen. Barely. This guy and Clint had to jump in at the end just to help me get it up. But yeah. It came out super cool, dude. Thank you. It, it really did. did. Um, yeah. If you guys want to have a recap, a little more in-depth thing, we're about to go record our podcast, Searchable Reptiles, oh, right. and we're going to just yeah. talk about the whole day. We'll find out exactly what it was that Shit. made Garrett uh, do the things he does the way he does them. I don't know where we're going to find that out. No, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Just give me to record like Dave. <laughs> <laughs> you actually make a thumbnail, um, like where the still, or okay. not still, but like, if you, can, you can come closer. This, you this button? It's already, you know, it's already a recording. Oh. So you can just so like. I won't hit any buttons. You don't need to hit any buttons. Nice. Sorry, recording. Okay, just, set. I don't know if you can do your best surprise face at this thing. Oh my god. <laughs> that was pretty good. Did you see how surprised she was? I did. I was very surprised. <laughs> I pulled the mushroom out of my pants and it was like, whoa. <laughs> Well, that took a turn.